my god, I feel so like there's nothing behind me. It's so weird. Hi guys, it's Beth and as you can probably see, my background is quite different. So from now on, it is just going to keep on getting more different. As you can see, there are paint swatches up here. I'm getting my room completely redecorated. This here is my wardrobe. I already have a new wardrobe, new drawers, new shelving unit. I've got rid of loads of stuff. I've got new carpet, new rug. Um, I'm going to be getting wallpaper on this wall and then my walls painted on all my other walls. And um, I've had a bit of a jig around. So as you can see, the only thing here at the moment is my desk. My Alex drawers are over there. So at the moment it looks a bit empty. I do apologize about that. And also for those ugly stain wall, stain walls, wall paint things. So today for you, I have a long awaited what's in my pencil case. This is requested every single year, a hell of a lot. Literally my most requested video, what's in my iPhone, what's in my iPad makeup collection, what's in my pencil case. And I promise you my update of what's in my iPad and what's in my iPhone will be coming very, very shortly. I have already filmed them, I just need to edit them. So I am really sorry that I've had to keep you waiting so long because literally on every single video I get like five requests to do that video. So Bear with me. We're doing the long awaited what is in my pencil case. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. My pencil case, like what's actually inside it, isn't. It actually is quite different from the start of last year, to be quite honest. So, this is my pencil case. It was from WH Smith and it was $5.99. So, it's clear and like white. Mm, cross. Mm? This pattern. And then it has a mint green like outlining and then a silver zip and it's really spacious it can fit a lot of stuff i don't just have pens and pencils in here really really good and handy so now actually getting into the pencil case okay so the first thing i have in here has nothing to do with like pens or pencils i have two hair bands so i have a scrunchie and just a plain hairband and this is because um a lot of the time I don't have my hair up or I'm not wearing a hairband on my wrist and I'll have like PE or like we'll be doing a practical in any of the sciences or anything like that and I'll need to tie my hair up so I just have a scrunchie and a regular hair bubble in my pencil case just in case because we don't I would keep them in my bag but we don't actually like carry our bags around school with us so I just keep them in my pencil case and we haven't got like a blazer or anything. Basically the only place I can put them is my pencil case. So so the next thing, I don't really, I can only really show you the front because um, the back has like my personal details and the back of this has my school on it. So that's kind of funny. Um, this is just a Casio scientific calculator. I've had this since year seven. It's lasted me so long um, and it'll probably last me till year 11 as well. There are like a tip X marks and like pen marks. Um, just from where I've like drawn on it and stuff but yeah this is probably about eight pounds I don't really know um, comes in very handy in maths okay so the next thing I have are my pastel highlighters I actually have everyone always says about me saying us really weirdly highlighters highlighters I don't know um, I actually have a, another big pack with like eight in of these but these are the ones left over from the end of last year because I actually got these for Christmas from my secret santa. Who was my secret santa last year? Whoever my secret santa was, love you. A blue, yellow, pink, green, orange and purple. These come in very little of these for just highlighting stuff. Um, literally everyone has those. They're Kind of pretty i do also have some regular highlighters so if you watched my what's my pencil case last year i'll link both my what's my pencil case videos that i've done in previous years down in the description you seem to love them there some of my most popular videos they're like in my top 10 and i had the thick like sharpie ones and they took up so much room in my pencil case so this year i decided to get some thin thick ones so there's a pink green yellow orange and blue and obviously i have the pastel ones I use, I use these for like um, highlighting, I don't know, when, you, when you're just told to like highlight stuff, I'll use that for these, but these I'll use if I need to like highlight keynotes or something that's like really important because they'll like stick in my brain. I also like to use these bright coloured ones for flashcards as well because again, they're just more vibrant, stick in my brain. I've literally just made that up. They probably don't stick in my brain because they're bright coloured, but 
yes the next thing i have in here is three of these pens so i have they're the bic round stick medium ball points um these are really cheap you can get them like a pack of 10 for 99p in home bargains um if you're lucky you can get like a pack of 10 in poundland etc etc these are just really good pens they never like fail on me my favorite pens are the ink joys and i have some of them in here but these are just really quick and easy. So in here I just have two pencils. You can get a pack of 24 of these from Poundland and they're just like HB pencils. They're really, really good and useful. Got rubbers on the end. The rubbers are really, really good. These are just pencils. They're really, really useful. Um, yeah, basically. The next thing I have in here is two oh, glue sticks. So this is like it's bigger than the small and the medium one, but it's not as big as the big one. It's like, I don't really know. <laughs> and then I have a tiny one, because basically if people say, could I borrow your glue? I'll give them this one, which I, oh, you're not meant to smell glue. Oh, why do I smell that? Like that was a lip balm. And I'll give them this one, which I got from Aliop in Spain, because everyone always asks to borrow my glue. So I'll just give them this one. Um, it is actually surprisingly a good glue. Like it's, Yeah, I was going to say, because I was just feeling it and I was like, oh, this doesn't feel like a good glue, but it is actually surprisingly really, really good glue, because you know when you get like the, the ones that the school give you and they're like just not very good? This one is actually okay, but it's not as good as Pritt Stick, and obviously Pritt Sticks are like probably the most expensive glue. Okay, so then I have some coloured Paper Mate Ink Joys. So I have a light blue and a pink. These ones aren't actually Ink Joys. These are from... I don't actually have a clue where these are from, so that's kind of funny. Um, then I have my actual ink joys. So I've got a red, a blue, which looks like it's about to run out very soon, but I have another blue, so it's fine. Orange, purple, and green, like dark green with a blue lid, because I lost the green lid and had an extra blue lid. So those are my pavement ink joys. So the rest of the stuff in here are kind of the basics, not really very fun, not colourful. So the first thing I have is Tipex. Um, I kind of don't really know whether you're allowed this one or like everyone has it, but some teachers say you're not allowed it, but then some teachers say you are. And like if you use it, no teacher tells you off. So like, don't really know if you're allowed this, but like, I mean, I guess you are. Um, yeah, this is just a bottle one. I actually prefer the like squeezy tube ones, but like the, you can either get three of these big pots for this like you can get three of these big pots for the same price as three of the like tiny little mini squeezy ones so I thought I'd go for the big pots but if I run out like of Tipex then I'll probably get a squeezy one just because I prefer it so the next thing in here is some scissors I've had these scissors for god knows how long I'm so surprised they aren't like I don't know what you call scissors when they like you lose their sizz that was in Victoria somewhere, I swear. Oh, I remember what it was. Um, it was when Andre was like doing the music thing with Jade and Jade threw her scissors against the wall and then she was like, look, something happened to my scissors. They've lost their scissors. Literally a real Victoria stand here come for me, honestly. I know every single, like, I can recite every single episode, like, honestly. <laughs> anyway. Just a pair of scissors really. Um, it's just a little sharpener. I think this is a Helix one. Not really very really sure. ASMR. Then the last thing in my whole pencil case is this Helix Oxford eraser. Yes, just a cute little plain white rubber eraser thing. And it's PVC free, which I obviously know what that means. Um, really great. So proud that Helix are going PVC free. Um, I think it's really inspirational. So that is my empty pencil cut. Oh, I've only had it like a week and it's actually got so dirty. I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. Love you lots and lots and I'll see you in my next one.